And now we come to 7.1c. I saw so let's triangle. Dang you sound got yin. I saw so let's triangle. Example 5. In the figure, AB equals to AC. That is this side equals to this side. And E are the midpoints. Midpoint of AC and D is the midpoint of AB. And now we have to prove that CD equals to BE. First of all, we have to write down the conditions as stated in the problem. We have AB equals to AC, therefore, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. And D is the midpoint of AB. That is, we can mark the size in this way. And E is also the midpoint of AC. But since triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle, therefore, these two sides will be equal to each other to AD, AE, BD, and EC. Because each side is half of the equal side of isosceles triangle, ABC. And now we have to prove that CD equals to BG. Now, can we find a pair of congruent triangles in this figure? And now here comes our strategy. Which pair of triangles should we consider? We have two choices, actually. Triangle ABE and ACD. ACD. ABE is here. ACD is here. These pair of triangles have, have sides related to CD and BE. And the other pair will be BCD and CBG. Again, these pair of triangles have size related to the size to be proved. Let's just consider the first pair first. ABE, the blue one. ADC, the red one. And now you can see that these two triangles have two pairs of equal size. For example, if this is one unit, one unit, one unit, one unit, then the blue triangle has a side of two unit and again there is a corresponding size in the red triangle AC and again for the blue one we have a side of one unit and for the red one we have again another side of one unit so actually we now have two pairs of equal size right now in this two triangle and of course the last side CD and BA is the size to be proved so therefore we have to switch to look at the angles and it is quite obvious that this common angle is the same for two triangles. This is a common angle A. So therefore, by S, A, S, these two triangles are congruent to each other. And now we can write down the proof as follows in triangle A, B, E, triangle a, C, D. We have A, B equals A, C. This is a given condition. And A, E equals to A, D. Again, this is another given condition based on the B points D and E. Finally, angle A is a common angle. Therefore, triangle ABE is contrary to triangle ACD. We have SAS. Note that again, we have to follow the order of the letters uh, as represented by the equal sides and equal angles. We have to follow the exact order SAS. And now we can write down CD equals to B. E. Corresponding size congruent triangles. Yes, that's it. Now we come to example 6. In the figure, D is a point of AB on AB. Proof that triangle ABC is similar to triangle CBD. And note that triangle ABC is not given an isosceles triangle. Not given. Yeah. Although it looks very much like an isosceles triangle, but this is not a given condition. And now we have to prove D 
this big triangle ABC is similar to this smaller one CBD. And since there is not even an angle or given angle in the figure, only some given size, therefore most probably we have to make use of the proportional size to prove they are a similar triangles. I suppose we draw another blue triangle on top of CDB and then remove it away and see if the size of this blue triangle is proportional to this bigger one. And therefore we have 20 to 45 and 30 to 30 and it seems that the ratio are not appropriate. Therefore we have to somehow rotate or flip this triangle. And suppose we flip this blue triangle into this one, just like a mirror image of the original one. Then we can move this second blue triangle and rotate it. And we can now actually see that the sides are in direct proportion 30 to 45 and 20 to 30. The ratio is exactly 1.5. And now I can write down the vertex. This is B, C, D, and after flipping, this is B, and then this is D, and this will be angle C. And it happens that this angle B is a common angle between the two triangles. Therefore, we have the ratio of two sides are equal, and the included angle is also equal. And now we can conclude that they are similar triangles. Therefore, we can write down in part A in triangle ABC, triangle CPD. We have to find the ratio of the size first. We have AB over BC, which is 45 over 30, which is 3 over 2. And BC over BD. We have 30 over 20. Again, the ratio is also 3 over 2. And lastly, angle B equals to angle B. This is a common angle. Therefore, they are similar triangle. And the reason is ratio of two sides. Included angle and puppy. If angle CBD and CDB are equal, then prove that the bigger red triangle is also isosceles. That is, if these two angles are equal, then will this big triangle and isosceles triangle too? Certainly, because. If these angles are equal, then CBD will be isosceles. And since the blue and the red triangle are similar triangle, then it follows that this is also an isosceles triangle. And therefore, the proof will be relatively simple. We have CB equals to CD because the base angles are equal. Or as stated in textbook, you can also write size equal opposite angles. And therefore, AB will equal to AC because triangle ABC similar to triangle CPD. Therefore, triangle ABC is also isosceles.